There was a huge snowstorm here where I live just a couple of days ago that really put me in the mood to paint something not only wintry, but beautiful. So before we get to the painting part of these lovely flowers, which I will put out in a tutorial next week, today we are going to go over the step-by-step -step instructions on how to draw the outline for it. So to get started, let's grab some paper. Now you can draw this either straight onto watercolor paper right now, or if you're like me and erase a lot when you draw, it might be a good idea just to use some sketch or even printer paper to draw on first, then trace your outline onto the watercolor paper later. And for those of you who would rather skip the part of drawing the outline altogether, but would still like to paint with me next week, I will have this outline available for sale on my Etsy shop, and I will leave a link to that in the description of this video. Now I have already very lightly with a pencil drawn the basic outline for this, but because pencil can be hard to see sometimes on these videos, I will go over this with you in the easiest way possible for you to follow along with using a thin Sharpie marker. Let's start these flowers by drawing the center of the larger flowers first. We'll draw sort of a blobby or wavy circle for the middle of the flower surrounded by smaller circles moving around it. This is going to represent the stamen of the flower. Then we'll begin drawing some nice plump petals starting from the center of the flower, moving out to a point, and then back in. I like to draw two or three of these petals, not all right next to each other, that are going to show the full petal. And then I'll add more to fill in the gaps in between those that look more like they're underlapping the first ones. I'm not sure if what I said made a whole lot of sense, but watch and follow along with me and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, I don't really have a particular flower in mind for these. I'm just kind of going with the flow, but most of these flowers have five or six petals on each flower. Actually, I think I have done one here that has seven, but really, you can do what you feel. They can all have the same amount of petals or different amounts. And I am also drawing these flowers pretty similar in size and shape. And altogether, I end up with five of these flowers in total. But again, you're the artist here and you can add as many or as few of these as you'd like in your drawing. I am just your guide. If you're enjoying this tutorial and are finding it helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on next week's tutorial when we get to do the fun part of this outline, painting it.
All right, now let's draw some leaves surrounding these flowers. These first several branches are going to have leaves that are smaller in size, sort of egg-shaped and close together to create a nice little bundle. And actually, when we get to painting these particular ones, we will be painting them a lovely dark blue. So really, in the end, they look more like some type of flower rather than leaves. But the shape for drawing them is very leaf-like shaped. I'll start by drawing the stem first and then adding the leaves onto it next. I'll draw three of these leaf branches stemming out from this left side and then in a minute I'll draw two more on the right side and I am placing these more on the top half of this floral spray. Now that I've got those done, I think I'm actually going to draw a few of these same small leaf shapes in this space here between some of these large flowers as well, just to help fill in the gaps. Alright, let's add some larger leaves stemming out from the flowers now. The majority of these are going to be placed near the bottom half of the drawing, but I will have a few smaller ones near the top as well. Thank you. 
Now to finish off this composition, I am going to go back in and add a few more smaller leaf branches to a couple of these empty spots around the flowers. But unlike the first ones that we drew, these are not going to be clumped quite so closely together. And when we paint them, these will be green where the first ones are going to be blue. And lastly, for an optional finishing touch, I'm actually going to draw in some dots or splatter marks to represent some snowflakes later. But you could leave this step out until we get to painting and then just add them in at that point more in a free-handed sort of way. The choice is up to you. And that's it for our lovely winter floral outline. I cannot wait to paint this with you next week. I think you're going to love it, so make sure you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.